Hi! Omega Chaos here again. Uh, with another episode of uh, Dwarven with Omega Chaos uh, Season 5. And this time I am Dwarven with my Prediction uh, Princess deck. So let's see how it goes. So now we move on to uh, Rituals. So now we're playing with Ritual, ritual uh, based uh, decks. So pred pred prediction, prediction Princess. It's definitely a pretty good ritual based deck. And all that, you can also of course play pre preparation rights in here as well. I play the more pure variant, I I don't run any shuttles in here. Uh, which was of course the more popular variant uh, of it for some time ago. But with construct band I don't think it's really worth it at all. Unfortunately my hand currently is pretty bad. No way to retard someone. My opponent is going off here. Of course, yesterday the panelist dropped IT the reaction uh, video uh, to it, so if you haven't uh, seen it, definitely go watch it. Um, it was the first time I ever did a, a live reaction. And quite honestly, the panelist, the new panelist is pretty bad. It uh, only really hit uh, one deck properly, which was uh, the Draco performable deck. It also hit my Magician deck quite a lot. Not only got Wisdom Eye uh, limited, which I kinda expected because of Ochi Osichi, but also, chicken game got banned for some reason. Of course, for a, because of that FTK deck, but it also hits a, a decks that run field spells. It was a, chicken game was a massive consistency fixer for many of those decks. Um, of course, uh, yeah. So you want a Tetro with uh, multiple terraformings because. You mostly don't want to throw uh, either too many fiat spells or too many terraformings uh, because it would uh, clog massively. But with chicken game, you could just activate the terraforming, activate chicken game, throw a card, then activate another fiat spell over it. But no, that is that play is not possible anymore, which really sucks. So I had have to completely rework my old mission deck. And the thing is, the old mission deck didn't even do anything uh, this format at all. I guess they figured they had to hit it because otherwise the uh, Draco performable deck would use the Magician Engine. But I'm not sure, sure about that. Well, well, I kind of have to deal with it. But the thing is that they didn't hit any other uh, top decks as well, like Monarch, Cosmo or uh, Burning Abyss. So, yeah, which is really bad. It also hit uh, upstart for some random reason, no idea why. And also, it hit northern to one, which is probably the most pointless hit ever, because most actually only ran one northern, or a few decks ran like two of them, but never three. And now you can just run that one northern and then you just put in a uh, thousand eyes restrict because of course uh, uh, it uh, came back which is pretty good okay star charge warrior i guess my plan is trying to go for quasar here and then hmm if you, of course, run a rank 4 base deck, you just run another level 4 fusion. So, yeah, so it, it was really pointless because it doesn't do anything to actually fix the problem with uh, uh, that uh, isn't fusion northern combo. Oh, yeah, I should have thrown one it, but I can just use strike, so it doesn't really matter.
But of course my plant can do that and then my plant summons Quasar and then I am dead because my plant can just activate level later on Starless Charge Warrior. So I just pretty much surrender. So I guess uh, let's go to the next one. And I'm back, so hopefully we can do some plays uh, this time. Okay, it is definitely better. But I still need some tribute material, of course. I think I'm just going to set the uh, sword and warning at this point. I don't want to set a second backdrop because of, of Twin Twisters. Don't want to get blown out by that card. So yeah, overall the new ban list is pretty much completely terrible. There are a few good things about it, but uh, yeah. But still. Wow, seriously, machine duplication. Well, kinda have to do that. I, uh, I don't want my plant get that much advantage for no reason. And then it's my turn. Okay, compulsory. That doesn't really too much, to be honest. It's just going to set a strong strike and then my turn. Hmm. <laughs> Oh wow, Cyber Dragon Dray, but of course Cyber Valley is not the Cyber Dragon, so I am still pretty much safe. So several activates. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm keeping the swarm strike for something more important. Okay, pre preparation of rights, that's pretty good. But I don't have any flip monsters to really go with. My tarot tray. Yeah? But at least I can start doing something. I'll set this too. Of course, Cyber Dragon, that's fine. Oh, and then Galaxy Soldier. And soon it will be a uh, two uh, yeah no, I mean five year anniversary for this um, channel. At least uh, 
since I first started doing Yu Gi Oh videos. So I will probably do a live stream on that date. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think at this point, um, I think I will just use Compose, right? And my punch just quit, so I won this time. So I guess uh, let's go to the next duel once again. And I'm back again. Of course, uh, you kind of have to go first in this deck because uh, this deck is pretty slow. I guess I set free this time. At the same time, you kind of maybe want to go second as well because it's pretty combo heavy. Because you need to get your essential cards like your level 9 monster, your turret tray, and the ritual spell. But you do have a lot of cards to search for it, of course. But sometimes you just won't be able to get those cards. <coughs> And it's my turn. Okay, Twin Twister. Unfortunately, not doing much currently. Yeah, maybe I should take it out. But right now, it's definitely not, not helping. I'm throwing it completely in the wrong time. It's a very powerful card, but not always useful. <coughs> I just need uh, Manju or uh, pre preparation rights or even uh, uh, one of the uh, Prediction Princess monsters that search searches for the Ritual spell. Yeah, this deck uh, is not uh, perfectly consistent, he can definitely brick quite a lot. Okay, a rule of darkness which just got put uh, to 2 in this panelist, which is definitely pretty interesting. I don't think the card is really that broken anymore at least, because it's just uh, it's 2 for 2 and you have to banish the dark monster. But of course it's... Uh, Pretty generic card. You can, you can you can use it in uh, so many decks. I think I might even use it in my raid address in the future once I complete that deck in real life as well. Which probably not going to happen anytime soon because force deck is still pretty expensive. Okay, I guess I'm playing against uh, Starastigan Assault Mode Zombies. Yeah, it brings up some memories because I um, used to play a uh, Starastigan Assault Mode with, zomb with zombies. And I did pretty well with it to a certain point. And now you can also play it pretty easily. Because Uni is Uni Zombie and Sheer and Rush Sage. No, right now I still prefer the Dragonity variant. Wow, seriously, I needed that card. What a bad luck. <coughs> And 10 activates 10 twister, okay. That's not very good. Mm. 
Okay, hopefully I throw something now. Well, this there is something very good for me. Activate prediction ritual. Nakishi Kishokan. Prediction Princess Tarotray. <clears throat> and then attack the salt beast. And in the, in the end phase I can revive uh, my pot of the Forbidden. And then of course that card is really powerful. And have so many nice effects. I might even build this deck in real life if uh, pre preparation of right is not too expensive. It really depends on that card, really. So now in this case activate give flipper master face up now can activate the effect but which effect is the most effective for me? I think I will throw two cards. More advantage is always very good. And this card also comes out in um, Shining Victor Spirit of a Tailwind. It searches for any flip effect monster from the uh, deck to your hand. Hmm, quite many choices. I think in this case I will do this. I set Summer of Illusions. I think it's pretty good in the stack. Then activate Prediction Prince Star Train. I flip up Summer of Illusions. And then activate Effect. I can see what of for Vivian for Vivian. And then someone out Gaia Drake to Universal Force from the next deck. And then it won't be destroyed in the end phase because it's kind of be darted or destroyed by effect monsters, including of course some of, of, of illusions. Well that's pretty good. <coughs> and now well, I think I just attack. And then in the end phase I can revive both of the forbidden anyway. Yeah, pretty good plays, I would say. Of course, my plant can search for something. And of course, Unit Zombie is probably the key card in most zombie decks now. I can attack with uh, those two. <clears throat> And then I think I will just activate pre preparation of rice just to thin out the deck. That's why I won't uh, draw any of those two cards. Then activate the throw trace effect. You bring this back again. And in this case, I'm going to think 
Wait, uh, activate how trace effect. And now I'm going to look at my opponent's hand. Now let's see what my opponent has to prevent my fiat from being destroyed, just in case. Hmm. I think that you need somewhere. Or with the biggest threat. Yeah, my opponent is playing a really weird deck kind of some random assault mode cards that are not that great to be honest, like assault counter and that assault uh, Yeah, Nightwing Sorceress. Yeah, definitely not that great. You can just activate the Assault Activate Eternity set, but of course, very situational and doesn't really give you much advantage. <coughs> and of course, I can just um, activate uh, some strike on it because it was the only spell in hand. So my opponent either had to twin twist or emotional strike. Or had to summon a monk summon a monk for it. That's why I put the uni zombie back to the deck. So of course this draw was pretty much the example how uh, powerful this uh, prediction princess deck can be pretty much. So I think this is it for this uh, episode of uh, uh Tournament with uh, Omega Chaos season five. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for now, goodbye and Omega Kiss, out.